Sadly, just hours ahead of Minister Monroe's comments on crime, another man was shot and killed last night. The victim, a 21-year-old male resident of Kennedy Subdivision. Police press liaison officer, Chief Superintendent Chrysalyn Skipping says the police were alerted to the incident via shot spotter technology that picked up gunshots being fired in the area of Lily Way just before 11 p.m. Investigating officers met the victim's bloodied body lying on the floor of his home following his failed attempt to escape gunfire. He died on the scene. Those who may have any information regarding this incident, we would like for you to reach out to the Criminal Investigations Department or the Southeastern Division, that's your East Street South Police Station, or even the Urban Renewal Centers to provide any information that you may have regarding this latest homicide. This incident in this particular community tonight is most unfortunate because this is a very quiet community. This community, we don't come to. It's very, very quiet. We've, we haven't seen incidents of this occurring. And so we're definitely going to beef up our patrols in this particular community as well. She added that police have increased their visibility on the streets. Shortly before this incident occurred, um, as you know, we have, Commissioner spoke to saturation patrols being ongoing. We have a number of vehicles on the ground right now throughout the island of New Providence. And those saturation patrols have yielded, like I said, just before this incident occurred, and a young man being found in possession of a handgun and ammunition while on Claridge Road. We have identified the hot spots within New Providence, and so we have our units patrolling those areas on a very constant and regular basis in an attempt to prevent and minimize these sorts of incidents from occurring within our community.